back in two minutes with more poetry in the open reading segment. So have fun in the two minutes and come back. We're going to the second sec section, James Galinas. ago, but it's gone through several rewrites, and I think it presents the concept and idea a whole lot better. So I'm going to reread it. It's uh, titled, Jitterbugs Also Walk on Water. Spokes jut from surface tension dimples in a lazy river solution of hope, and their little bodies, like ashes, flicked upon a mirror, bob and run in the ignorance of grace. I used to sit by a local river's edge plucking out those few ill-fated water spiders that crept too close, to pull out a leg or two, and then discard the frail creatures without affliction. Lying on their sides, stirring awkwardly, and attempting to right themselves with legs I tossed carelessly away, they would end their struggles, slowly drowning in their former muddy water land, now turned fatal. To tug those dowel limbs in a vain display of power, tore away childhood innocence, and I wonder if I'd have cheered or shed a tear at the crucifixion. Uh, this is called The Feminine Card Shark. A flash of dark, dilating pupils, horn molasses, while little gingerbread men dance fertility for the Queen of Hearts, the polka of suits. Her lips flush red, swelling, while nimble fingers stroke piled chips upon chips affectionately, inviting, complete, oh, inviting, complacent, friendly, ego deadly. I've got to explain it. I uh, put up a misspelling, so maybe I should read that again. Fingers stroke piled chips upon chips affectionately, inviting, complacent, friendly, <laughs> ego deadly. Nylon rubs against the nylon, and a faint nipple outline shows through button-down silk. So I bet on a pair of sixes, and lose to her sweet laughs, and a full house. Sweat-stained cards marked by countless men bust, and I know this game is stacked. Yet whatever the hand, the pot is something I rarely want anyway. <laughs> This is called A Distant Howl Cry. A Distant Howl Cry. Is heard while wandering through dark, paved, wet streets on a sky moonless night devoid of travelers. Shrill and high, blasting this quiet sky with the unmusical clamoring of pails, lids, and screams, a cat ran past in a pitter patter of leather paws with a poodle at its tail. James Colinas.